Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to our class. I am your instructor Adil Raza and today we have to learn an SLO, a SLO from grade 6 and it is our unit 11. So, let us find out what our today's SLO is about. Here our today's SLO is about the competency of writing. It is our lecture 4B and our topic is the minimal pairs. In this SLO, we will focus on the minimal pairs. So, what the SLO states that? SLO states that write multi-syllable words at grade level, grade level with correct spelling using spelling rules and strategies, noting sounds, visual patterns, in words applying vowel consonant patterns blends doubling of consonants so this is our slo in this slo we will focus on the minimal pairs so here is the vertical linkage i hope you guys have got it let's go further here is the brainstorming activity so students here is the brainstorming activity so let's find out what we have to do in the brainstorming session so what the prompt is the prompt states that think of two words that sounds almost the same but differ by just one sound and share them with the class so students have you ever witnessed such type of word while reading or in writing in which two words are entirely same but only one sound only one alphabet is different in those in those words so such with a little bit sound variation they are two different things but at the same time they are of the same class like if they are noun the second word is the noun as well if one word is verb the second one is verb as well if the one word is adjective the second one is adjective as well so have you ever seen such type of words i hope you guys have seen such type of words so let's find out what such type of words are called and what such type of words are so these type of words are considered as the minimal pairs so let's find out what is meant by a minimal pair a minimal pair is a pair of words differing only by one sound in the same position so one sound is different and at the same position that sound is different like if there we can say that if the first sound is different so the second words first sound is has to be different not the second alphabet or the third sound will be different so one sound is different between two words and that sound is different on the same position in each word like pin bin so here we have the three sounds the first the second the third and the second word first second the third so what we have to do we just have to change one single sound on the same position so here we have changed the first sound and we insert b sound there and what the word be become the word become bin so that's why we can say that the pin and bin are minimal pairs because just replacing one sound on the same position of the word there is a new word in the we can say that in the language like the bet and the bet so we just change the last sound of both words and a new word becomes so such type of words with one sound different at the same position are considered as the minimal pairs there are a number of example of the minimal pairs like sing think sing thing sick thick so the first sound is different on both the words and they uh, the other word is the same so this is why we can say that the minimal pairs like whiz with breath breeze free three fin thin so we just replace one sound and we have a new word so this is how the concept of minimal pair works and these are the minimal pairs which used in the language i hope you guys have understand here are a number of some other examples so kindly go through these examples as well i hope you guys have understand what is a minimal pair how minimal pairs formed in the language and how uh, we can use these different sounds to make new minimal pairs so according to the knowledge of the minimal pairs according to the understanding of the minimal pairs in the classroom activity you guys have to make some minimal pairs with the with different words 
So let us go further, here is a simulation, the simulation is also based on the concept of minimal fare. So kindly go through this video, the link is in the description box, box it will help you to understand the concept in a better way. Here is a worksheet, so kindly pause this video and attempt this worksheet, this worksheet will also uh, check, uh, will enlarge your knowledge about the SLO. Here we have a homework, in the homework you guys have to do the same thing like in the classroom activity, you have to make some new minimal pairs using different words and replacing the same position sound between those words. So let us go further. Here is a resource pack, this resource pack will assist you to achieve the SLOs in a better way. These all, res this all resources are uh, also accessible and are linked with the video. So you can do access them and make your SLOs understandable. I hope you guys have understand the concept of minimal pair and what the con uh, minimal pair is and how we can make minimal pairs in the language. If you find any issue, any confusion, you can ask in the comment section and ask from your teacher as well. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.